All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole leg on the bread, Hananya. Coming back with another video. And uh, yeah, I hope this will be edifying. Now, topic that I want, wanted to be talking today was gluttony, right? Now, I saw that the elder a couple of days ago, the elder of, uh, I believe it was Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. I believe it was Dallas. If I'm wrong, Salak, yeah. But he made a video talking about the gluttony, basically what you, what you, what you take in, right? Now, I've tried to make uh, videos about uh, food intake, exercise, uh, just things, things, things that are good for your body, structure, structure, things like that. A Yaratisa spirit comes more on me to make those type of videos because I have a lot of them in my notes, in my notes with videos that I want to make like 10 plus videos that's uh, going into uh, food intake, uh, benefits, um, fasting benefits, you know, exercise benefits that I want to bring out, but hey, it all goes to the spirit. So, Salakia, <sighs> basically, the elder, he was talking about the, the gluttony, right? And he said also, these Edomites call it uh, a deadly sin right well you have seven seven deadly sins that's that's what uh, those Edomites call it the, the seven deadly sins now it reminded me of an anime right and uh a, yeah you know i'm the anime guy but anyway the anime it was the seven uh Slakia. it was four metal alchemists right brotherhood and you had this one saga or arc and it was with the seven deadly sins basically the main characters of that anime were fighting these seven these seven people and the funny thing about it is that all of them this wasn't their real body they were actually spirits you know those seven seven things those those eyes that you see uh, under it that was actually them this is just their fake well um, not fake but this was just their uh, yeah fake body basically this was their this was really how they looked on under here with the eyes right and a uh, it reminds me of Hey, this is not the 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 what they represent, right? Right. This is not something that the Most High wants the man of the Lord to be or to do, you know. So that's why that's how you can already see, like, hey, this is left-handed, man. This is left-handed, and you need to examine yourself, man. If any of those seven things that i'm gonna name up uh, applies to you man now the the topic the main topic that i wanted to be about was gluttony and the uh, slot basically right because slot also goes into other things right being lazy stuff like that right but one of the sins of the seven deadly sins as they call it is gluttony you have gluttony well this is this is uh what esau calls it right or what esau yeah what esau edom uh, calls it right you have pride greed lust envy gluttony wrath and sloth right now in the anime in the in that anime you have the same you have the same thing gluttony 
right this guy he eats like everything everything right you have gluttony you have lust obviously it's a female or look looks like a female well it is yeah okay the the demon basically he took the appearance of a female obviously because uh hey it's easy to lust after females you know <laughs> you have rat right rat uh let me see if i can get another picture yeah here this 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 one is better then you can actually see it that yeah then you can actually see the names horizontally so you have gluttony envy lust pride wrath greed slot uh, and then uh, yeah envy right now all of these is actually not good this is not what uh, the man of the lord what kind of spirit they need to be having right if you look at envy the, the hey you have multiple scriptures where the most high talks about a hey, envy not the oppressors man don't envy them because we do, we hey you don't know what their end is gonna be man it i believe it was in psalms you know speaking about you don't know where their end is gonna be man yeah they are blessed now right the most i blessed them the most i made them good right made them good now they they living life good Elam driving in that new Mercedes Benz. Oh, hey, Ishmael also riding in that in that in that new BMW. You know, his wife, kids. Hey, his wife, if his wife does everything for him, everything smooth and dandy. But you don't know where that end is gonna be. You know, you don't know what the Most High got in store for them. You know. Then you have gluttony. Hey. <laughs> Let, let, let's go into it man let's go into it then also before we go into it slack you because i forgot this you also have another anime and this was really targeted towards the seven deadly sins now you had an anime that was uh, full metal alchemist that's from di this this anime right this anime and then you have another anime that's titled the seven deadly sins now the seven deadly sins were these guys right now they say they say these are actually the seven but in our actuality <laughs> these aren't the seven because you have if you if i if i can get the names Um, Slakia. Yeah, okay. Anyway, you have you had Rat. He's Rat. Um, I can't remember everything. What name they had? But I remember uh, his name was uh, well. His sin was Rat, and then his sin was Pride. You even can see the lion on his back. Escanor is his name. A is a is a dope 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 anime but the point of it the point of it yeah you see the lion here you see the uh, i don't know what this is if it's if it's a pig look like they show that it's a pig but actually yeah they show that it's a pig so basically gluttony but you have why i, I, I put, up, put up this picture was because actually they don't have that same gluttony in this but he is there and a hey, yard side if you have that eye self you gon you gonna know that that sin is also there so it's actually eight sins in this in this in this anime and that eight sin or that seven sin was gluttony and that's him the pig now in the anime the this pig eats everything everything that you throw at him he eats 
and he never gets tired nothing and he also rules with all the other uh seven deadly sins that's what the people call 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 this group he also rules with them he is like uh, yeah he's just in the group also but he never gets the spotlight or he never fights because he's a pig but he also has his duty eating everything every left leftover such and such now if you look in the uh, look into the word gluttony right definition habitual greed or excess in eating and that's not a good spirit to have man the most high didn't give us emotions like a hey, oh, oh uh uh the most high didn't give us emotions uh, like a hey, go 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 be glutton go be a glutton Gluttony, if that's even a word but go commit gluttony because it's good for you it's good for you no man no man do you think do you think do you think because you have a lot of uh, 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 cause you have a lot of overweight people in in America especially but all over the world let me just say that all over the world right do you think during the time of adam and eve right or i don't even have to go that far because <laughs> let's go back 200 years let's go back 200 years do you think people look like this well obviously you had some kings right you had some queen, uh, kings or princes right that had a demon on them that was a gluttonous gluttonous type demon and they could eat whatever they want because they were rich like that they could just sit be a slot and eat eat and sleep that's that's all but do you think this was the the, the average pe uh, person his body like this was not a thing man back 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 in the days it was not a thing man now how Esau got into power then you started seeing more people overweight and stuff like that because they putting all kind of nonsense in food and they a they even have something they even put something in chips right that's how you know they fucking with food they even have something in chips where if you just take one chip right one uh, one 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 uh, one of these right you cannot stop like you need to eat the whole bag you cannot stop by if you eat one you already want to eat more and more and more and more and more they put something in the in in the chips that makes you want to eat more meanwhile this shit is not good for you but they have something in there that, and Esau knows it. They have something addictive in there that makes you want to eat more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Next thing you know, you're eating two bags of chips, man. Two bags of chips. Do you know how much salt that is? Do you know how much salt? Now, is uh first corinthians 14 and 40 let all things be done in in slack let all things be done decently and in order and actually i wanted to grab this scripture later but it also goes into that because if you if you being gluttony you have no balance man you a hey, gluttony is not a spirit that you supposed to be having you you if you if you um because it's a demon obviously right but if you if you eat a lot right and you cannot stop then you also have a lack of discipline man a lack of discipline a lack of structure and order a lack of structure and order and that's not good you know 
Let hey, the scripture say, let all things, all things, all things. It's not just oh yeah, I'm gonna read on Monday, then I'm a uh, I'm gonna study uh, Tuesday, then I'm gonna make a video Wednesday. It's not only about teaching or or going into the scriptures. This applies to everything. It says it. Let all things, all things, be done decently and in order have a structure have an order have a good schedule that you can also maintain you know that you can maintain that uh, structure that that order you know you can maintain that schedule because it's very important sleeping eating eating good right well obviously eating good eating e eating good trying to eat the best that you can out of the worst that they give you because what are you going to do are you going to eat the worst of the worst or are you going to eat the best of the worst you're going to eat the best of the worst so try to eat as good as possible and um, have a good sleep sleep sleeping uh, schedule right making sure your body rests enough exercise also exercise if you can do it every day you know because you're gonna get rid of all those toxins that are in your body right getting that blood flow going right blood flow very good for you especially if you um train or even if you don't train you have cramps or you have pain in your leg or in your uh, back or um, in your arms right or in your thighs you have pain if you go and train do some cardio or yeah do some do some cardio make sure or, or just run just run just run for 30 minutes just run and I don't mean 30 minutes like sprinting, but just having a good tempo and run, making sure your whole body is moving. That blood flow gonna get going and pain and um, pain and for example, yeah, pain that you get in your legs or cramps or, st or stuff like that, that all comes because your body, your blood flow is not going how it's supposed to go if that blood flow goes how it's supposed to go then you won't have that problem obviously yeah obviously also you gonna have if you train your muscles you 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 might have cramp muscle pain yeah muscle density uh your muscles like your, your muscles gonna be tense stuff like that a hey, if you if you train every day you gonna make sure your heart is good also uh if you train your legs especially as a man you train your legs every day very important because a hey, those are one of the main and most important blood flow blood flow um, streams that you need basically your legs because a hey, if some person gets shot in the leg right uh in the in the area in the area where the ties are at hey you done for man you done for you you die like there's no saving you that's like almost your that's almost like your heart man if someone shoots you in your heart hey there's a very small chance that you survive and not only that it's also you use your legs like 90 percent of the time so make sure your legs are a hey, they 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 work how they're supposed to work man you know stop eating stop eating unhealthy unhealthy shit and then be like hey yeah ah, ah, yeah i'm dealing with this now uh, 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 di i'm diabetic i'm diabetic and um yeah i don't know i will i don't know what to do I don't know how how this how this game yeah i'm gonna use herbs what what herbs can you can you uh, uh, recommend me to use it's not only about herbs man you need to put in effort yourself go train go eat go eat good man 
go eat good and with eating good i'm not saying like eat yeah you gotta eat only vegetables a eh? only eat vegetables no no that's not what i'm saying man but knock it off with the with with the damn uh eating fried fried chicken all, all, all day eating eating uh, uh fries all day you know knock it off with that stuff eating burgers every day or every two days you know because oh yeah you're catching hell but now you want to feel better you're gonna eat you're gonna eat stuff that's unhealthy for you to feel better it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way because when you do stuff like that matter of fact it's ecclesiastes it's 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 right here it's right here this is um this is uh sarak sarah slakia or ecclesiastes 37 and 29 be not unsaleable in any dainty thing nor too greedy upon meats right what i just named right for excess of meats bring sickness so a hey, if you if you have have no balance if you being if you being a glutton or or having that spirit of gluttony upon you you going you going to cause trouble for yourself man trouble for yourself you going to cause your body you going to cause uh, trouble in your body man see as it like a car if you treat your car like shit if 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 your car needs to put check this out if your car needs to put gas a right it needs to put a uh, slack here your car runs on gas a or gas b right well yeah your car runs on gas a or gas b right but you also have gas c you also have gas c now gas c is not good for your car but it's cheaper but it's not good for your car it's cheaper but it's not good for your car what are you going to run on are you going to run on gas a gas b or are you going to use gas c only because it's cheaper Oh yeah, it's easy to eat unhealthy. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. It's, it's it's easy to eat unhealthy. Meanwhile, that shit's fucking up your car. It has a 70% more chance of fucking up your car, fucking up your engine block. Your engine. Next thing you know, your car doesn't run. Next thing you know, you need to go to work. Now you start up your car. Go 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 go. go. It it can't even start. Can't even start. That's the same way with your body, man. You rather use gas A or gas B than use gas C only because it's cheap and it it's it's more affordable and easy. It's easy. Basically, ga uh, gas C is the easy option, the easy way, the way of no discipline. Uh, and that's actually the spirit because I typed in C. <laughs> you see here, discipline static weak <laughs> hey that's a spirit man that's a spirit man that's the spirit that's the spirit man gas c hey basically gas c is like a lack of discipline lack of discipline that's how you need to see it now and surfeiting will turn into scholar by surf surfeiting Serveting, yeah, it's like serveting. Have many perch, but he that taketh heed prolongeth his life. If you eat, if you eat how you supposed to eat, and not eat fucked up shit all day, and 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 then be uh and then be obese, and then say, oh yeah, I can't do nothing, or oh yeah, you got some herbs, I'm gonna use some herbs, but then still you eating like you eating fucked up, right? You have no structure, you have no schedule, you have no uh order in your life then it, it it does 
doesn't work how it's supposed to work, man. It doesn't work how it's supposed to work, man. That's like, that's like you asking something, to, you you asking the Most High for something, but yet you do the opposite of what you asking the whole time. The Most High gonna look at you like, hey, you need to you need to try your, you need to put in some effort as well, man. Like if you if you put zero effort at all into it, but you pray for it though, the most I gonna look at you like, hey, but you ain't you ain't trying at all. You ain't trying at all. That's like that's like, hey, you 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 go to school right, and your parents say, hey, listen up, if you finish this semester and you get 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 your degree, I'm gonna buy you a car. Now, if they if 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 they see like, hey, you ain't putting any effort into get that degree, right? Get that car, right? Do you think they gonna still give you that car, even though they rich though? Even though they they rich, whether or not he gets that degree, he can get that car because the the, the his parents are rich. Are the parents gonna give him that car if they see whether whether he make that or not? Are they gonna give that 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 uh, their son the car? Meanwhile, the guy put in no zero effort to get that degree. He didn't even try. Like sometimes you try, but you still fail. You try your hardest, but you still fail. That's us in this truth, basically. We try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of the, our ability, but a hey, we sin daily. You know, that's what I mean with that. Not feel like a hey, being a part of the like no 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 a hey, are not man. That's not it. That's not what I mean. So, uh, where was I? <laughs> basically, basically, yeah. If if the if the parents see like the the the, the son does he doesn't even make one percent effort to get that degree. Get that diploma so he can get that car he isn't gonna get it man hey those parents might have sympathy if he tried his best and they will still give him that car only because they see like he 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 made effort he made effort to 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 be better to get that degree to get that diploma but if they see like hey he doesn't he doesn't even try one percent they are not going to give him that card that's the same way how the most high works man that's the same way how the most high works now next scripture ecclesiastes 3 and 25 a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet hey if you have a good heart right which a yard we hope we have right have a good heart me kind stuff like that you supposed to take care of your meat of your flesh of your of your uh, uh, body and your spirit of course but this is talking about your body and your diet right have a good balance this doesn't mean i'm not trying to say like hey you need to eat fully healthy throw all the ch uh, uh, put, uh, ch chips away don't fry food anymore. It's wicked. <laughs> That's not what I mean, man. But have a good balance. For example, you can eat, uh, you can be on a diet, right? For brothers that are, are, are obese, right? Or that have a lot of fat and it's becoming a problem, right? Now, for example, you can do this. You can have five days in a week or six days in a week where you you are on a diet and then the seventh day when you're with brethren you take a cheat day you take a cheat day you're with the brethren so it goes hand in hand it goes good that's a good balance then you also have something to look out for you have something to uh yeah look out for for those days that you're on that diet Cause you're gonna wish like oh i really want to eat something uh, good blah 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 stuff like that but now you can tell yourself like hey i can't wait i can't wait for uh, i can't wait for friday or i can't wait for saturday 
through go and uh, chill with brothers, you know, after you're uh, doing uh, done the work, chilling with brethren, uh, eating, eating some food, blah, 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 stuff like that, right? Now you have something to look out for. That's a balance. Five days, five days diet, two days cheat day, or uh, six days diet, se uh, seven day cheat day. That's a balance, man. You know, that's keeping you motivated to keep on going, to keep on pushing. But if you think like, hey, yeah, I'm just going to do seven days a, a week diet. Hey, some brothers can do that, but I'm speaking, <laughs> I'm not speaking about those peculiar brethren. <laughs> I'm talking about a. Hey, For example, you say like, yeah, man, I'm just going to be on a diet for 30 days straight. And it's a it's a it's a very hard diet where you don't take in a lot of food. Hey, man, that's not good mentally for yourself as well, because you can do you don't don't overdo it. Basically, have a good balance, man. Have a good balance. Don't overdo it. That's basically the point that I'm trying to make now. Another one. Another one. This is Sarak. 30 and 15. Health and, and good state of body are above all gold. And a strong body above infinite wealth. There is no riches above a sound body. And no joy above the joy of the heart. Right. A. If you have a healthy and good body, it's more precious than... Uh, It's, it's more precious than gold. Do you know why? Because you need to think about it. How long are you going to use your body? If you like in your 20s, right? Hey, you are the side. You're going to use those. You're going to use that body for 50 plus more years, man. You need to make sure that, hey, you take good care of your body, man. Because it a hey, health is everything, man. Health is everything. Help make sure that you can keep doing the works of your Baishim Yashai, man. If you don't have a good health, right? You can even stand uh, uh, for um, a limited amount of time. Or you can't talk any anymore because your voice or something happened. Or you can't stand anymore because, hey... Um, You was drinking a lot in the world and now you struggle with that. Now your liver li liver is fucked up. Now you gotta go to the hospital every uh, every week to get checked, blah de blah, right? Things like that. Hey, if you don't have that good health, you can you can not satisfy the most high to the hundred percent. Obviously there's also mercy. There's also mercy. There's also mercy for 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 obviously I'm not talking about the the brethren that are ill but i'm talking about ways you can prevent those things from happening to you because that's the knowledge and wisdom of yabashim yashai that yabashim yashai gave unto uh, his his prophets his servants right wisdom wisdom why is wisdom precious wisdom is precious because you 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 are going to apply it Every day you go apply it to the to everything that you're doing, everything that revolves around your life, everything that is in your life. You 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 gonna do, you know. You gonna use wisdom with it. You are a you know, and that's why it's so precious. And one of the things with wisdom is the knowledge or wisdom, right? The knowledge of of. Uh, wealth uh, it's like your health <laughs> wealth it's like your health health is a very important thing if your if if your if your body isn't healthy you are not going to be happy if your body is healthy you're going to be happy that's how it rolls if you eat chips and fries all day and and uh, brownies cookies all day Your body is not gonna be happy, and you are not going to be happy because your body is not happy, and that's also a thing. That's why in First uh, Corinthians, 
three F fifteen, right? It uh, or, or a sixteen. It says, "Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh Shimon and that the spirit of Yahweh Shimon shall dwell in you." If any man the father spirit of God, him shall Yahweh Shimon shall destroy for the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. Meaning, hey, if if you if you don't keep your body, if you don't keep, if you don't keep your body in a in a good shape, meaning eating wise, then hey, you're you're basically defiling it. For example, if you eat for the people in the world, obviously, or not even the people in the world, world, but if you uh, defiling your body, such as eating uh, eating pig, eating shrimp, right, or just eating things that you're not supposed to be eating, or eating things that as that's destroying your body, then it's not good, man. What you're doing, then you're 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 defiling and destroying the body, man. The, the temple of the Most High. You need to keep it at as clean as possible, you know, as clean as possible, and that's what you are supposed to be striving for, you know, trying to the best of your ability to um, keep your body in a good shape, so you can also be in a good shape, and with that being being also. That can also transfer to spiritual things, where as you you feel good, you feel energetic. So hey, I'm gonna make a video, or I'm gonna do this. I'm I'm, I'm gonna do that, spiritual wise, you know, f for the truth, for the for your bashim yashai. And that's how it's supposed to go, man. If you eat fucked up all the time, it's gonna fuck your body up. You know the cholesterol right eating fats all the time your blood flow is not gonna be running how it's supposed to be running it's gonna basically blood flow blood flow right uh, I, want, I want the picture from the inside Yeah, so basically, if everything is clocked up, right? Everything is clocked up, right? From your uh, in 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 the in the bloodstream, right? If everything, if you eat fucked up, everything is gonna be clocked up. You you know you gonna eat you eating too much salt, eating brownies all the time, cookies all the time, uh, fries all the time, you know. Your blood flow, your bloodstream is gonna be clogged up, which gon cause your heart to pump more, pump more blood, which leads to higher blood pressure because your blood flow, your bloodstream can't flow how it's supposed to flow. This is going to happen, and this is why it's. This is one. This is one of the reasons why you should eat healthy, especially if you're of an older age it's very important that you do that it's never too late to exercise or to um, eat healthier i'm not gonna say healthy healthier that you'll already be doing because a if you eat if you eat fucked up right but you gonna eat you gonna say yeah i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna need some herbs I need herbs to eat better. I need herbs to a uh, yeah. Uh, I need herbs because my body is fucked up right now. But you making no effort. You eating uh, cookies all the time, fries all the time. Then you're basically destroying the purpose, man. Who 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 do, who do you think you fooling? Who do you think you fooling? You only fooling yourself, man. And the most I looking at you like. <laughs> What is this? What what are you doing? Basically. Because you you don't take it serious then. You put in zero effort but you expect herbs to do everything for you. Which herbs are are created to help you, right? To help you.
with different different type of things that you need right that your body needs right but that is not the hundred percent cure you know yeah by shimmy is the hundred percent cure Let, let's put that first and foremost right and Yabashim Yashai gives the knowledge how to make you uh, how to cure yourself, right? How to how to um yeah, how to cure cure uh for example health problems that you have. Oh you have a pain in your legs, in your thighs, it's uh you 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 when you sit down you feel that it's light you feel like this you feel like this i don't know how to explain the the feeling but it feels like this your legs feels like this your legs feel sleepy that means there's not enough blood flow in your legs you need to train your legs more train your legs if you sit a lot, right? If you if you at work and you work uh, at a desk and you sit a lot, train your legs more. When you when you come home, train your legs, train your legs, because you don't use your legs that often. That's why it's even even more important that you train your legs so that your legs have that training, that movement, that. Um, blood flow that it needs because sitting all day isn't good you know sitting all day isn't good your blood flow goes better when you stand than when you sit all the time and especially if you if you if you obese or diabetic because now fat also comes around it you know fat also plays a role you know and hey, I can go on for days, but let me get let me get this. Uh, speaking about health, right? The definition of health, right? Then gluttony again, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a separate video because I actually want to do two videos, right? Two videos in one, basically the the the, the deadly sin of gluttony and the deadly sin of uh, slot right but i'm gonna do that separately yard sa because hey it's also it's it's already 40 minutes in <laughs> i planned on making this video 20 minutes but it's all the spirit and power of yabashim yasha man the spirit does what it does man the spirit does what it does it flows how it wants to flow and it ends when it wants to end so i'm gonna get health this is from the, from Miriam Webster. Miriam Webster. This is the definition of health. The condition of being well or free from disease. You see? Another one. The overall condition of someone's body or mind. You see? Again. The condition or state of something now gluttony again excess in eating or drinking like basically having no balance you you eat a lot you eat a lot of cookies eat a lot of hey eating a lot of everything is not good as well for example if you eat you you know melons are good for, for you especially to lower your blood flow right lemons lower blood pressure right and blood sugar right lemons uh lower your blood your lower your blood pressure right okay so they lower your blood pressure but think about it it lowers your blood pressure right but if you have if you uh, have an ex excess of eating lemons so if you're eating le lemons the whole time right every every day seven days long 14 days long it it gonna mess you up as well you're gonna end in the hospital if you 
having that spirit of gluttony to to where you you overdoing it right you eating too much lemons because you think it's good for you it going it, it going to mess you up man you going to get you going to be in the hospital man laying flat straight because it thins out your blood it thins out your blood which is also not good for you you go and in the hospital when for example when you when you, when you have an ex- excess amount of lemons right when you overdo it and even with herbs with herbs if you overdo it right and overdo herbs if the if if the herbs if you supposed to take it uh one one week only right for the for the rest of the half year right so for yeah for for a half year right every half year you need to one one week you need to take that herb if you going say like oh yeah every half year i'm just going to take uh, take take that herb two weeks instead of one week meanwhile it says only take it one week but you think yeah i really need it so i'm going to do two weeks you can fuck yourself over only because you're doing that only because you being over righteous you want to overdo it that's not good let everything be done in decently and in order and also don't hey the most high is not hey the most high doesn't deal with the false banners man uh, let's get a scripture let's let's get that scripture to close it off let's get that scripture to close it off Proverbs 11 and 1 a false balance is abomination to Yahweh Shimashai but a just weight is his delight right so Yara Tisa I'm gonna make another video talking about slot right the the deadly sin of slot right and then go all into it with that also because slot also goes into when you're being lazy right a slot what does he do all day he eats and he sleeps that's all he does he eats and he sleeps and then done he sleeps most of the time he's lazy most of the time he doesn't move a lot he doesn't do a lot of work he's lazy that's all he does <laughs> that's all he does do you think that's the spirit that the that the most high wants on one of his servants one of uh, one of his uh one of his children basically do you think he wants that no he don't he did he didn't he didn't make humans to be like a slot you know he didn't make humans to be like a slot lazy <laughs> come on man that's not the spirit that you should be having especially nowadays because this is not the time for that you know he saw doing a lot of things man with the facts uh, it's like with a magazine down with a magazine now a hey, you we gotta we gotta use code words and shit because uh because or else they gonna block your videos you see you see already you can't say certain things anymore which is heavily in the news you can't say certain words that are heavily in the news right now because they're going to block your ass. That's already a. Hey, eventually they're going to block this truth too. And when that happens. All hell is going to break loose man. Because then. The Most High. Took away his prophets. From teaching. That's Proverbs 1 man. Proverbs 1. And I believe it starts at 15 already man. At 15 already it starts man. Speaking about what is going to happen. <laughs> and what the Most High is going to do. When he takes his man from the street, man. When he takes his prophets from the street. Hey, I hope this video was edifying. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashar Bashim Rakakadash. The honor to the eldest apostle of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hope of Elek. And the brother Hananya. I hope this video was edifying. And Shalom.